we are going to be giving meds now. I have already assessed my patient. I have taken vital signs. I have assessed the need for any PRN medications that they might want. And I am coming to the med room. I'm going to wash my hands. And then look at my MAR, making sure that I have the correct patient, their name and their date of birth are on there and are correct. I'm looking at their allergies to ensure that I'm not giving anything that they might be allergic to. I am looking at the time and determining which of these medications I need to give. Then I will pull the medications from our automated dispenser. Once I have what I need, for each medication individually, I'm going to compare it against my MAR. So I'm looking at the name of the medication on the MAR and the med. I'm looking at the dose. I'm checking the expiration date to make sure they're not expired. And I am making sure that the uh, route is correct. Once I have pulled all of my medications, I will grab any supplies that I need. I have already done my first check on my IV piggyback medication. I have gathered my supplies. I have my medication, my secondary tubing, an alcohol pad, and a label. I'm going to check my MAR, looking at my patient's name and date of birth and verifying allergies. I am looking at their primary fluids that are ordered and I'm going to use my chart to check my compatibility against my IV piggyback medication. Once I've determined they are compatible, I will do my second check on my IV piggyback. I'm going to state the name of the medication on the MAR and on the medication, state the dose on the MAR and the medication, double check my route is IV or IV piggyback, uh, check the time and the frequency, I have looked at my drug cards to determine how long I need to run this medication over, which you will get that information from the drug book. And I've done my calculations and determined that I will be giving this medication at 28 drops per minute. Now I will gather my equipment and go to my patient's room. I have knocked on my patient's door, entered, introduced myself, explain to my patient that we are giving an IV piggyback medication. I'm going to wash my hands and identify my patient. Bringing my MAR to the bedside. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? And do you have any allergies? Okay. I'm going to do my third check of my medications. First, I'm going to make sure that this primary is the same that I have on my order. So I'm going to read my medication name on my MAR and my medication name on my primary IV. Okay. And I will do my third check on my medication, reading out loud the name of the medication on the MAR, the name on the medication the dose of the medication on the MAR and on the medication. The route should be IV or IV piggyback. And I'm checking that the time is correct and I know what the frequency of the medication is. I have explained to the patient using my drug cards what the medication is for and what the possible side effects are. And we are ready to spike our bag. making sure that my tubing is clamped. Going to uncap these, maintaining the sterility of the bag and my tubing. Make sure that's tight. And hang that here using this, I will drop my primary bag. Okay. I'm going to clean 
the port that's closest to the bag on the primary side for at least 15 seconds vigorously. Again, maintaining the sterility of both sides. Twist that on. Holding the secondary lower than the primary, I will open the secondary clamp to back prime this tubing, making sure there are no bubbles in there, and then it fills up to about half. And then I will replace here and put on my tubing label. Before I run my medication, I want to assess my patient's IV site, make sure they're not having any pain there, there's no sign of phlebitis or infiltration, no redness, no warmth, um, no lumps, everything looks good. Once I have that, I will open this completely and use the primary roller clamp to set my drip rate, which was 28 drops per minute, so seven drops in 15 seconds. And I'm double checking to make sure my drips are coming from this bag and not my primary bag. I will then wash my hands, document that the medication was started, assess my patient and see if they need anything. 60 minutes has gone by and I have knocked on the patient's door, introduced myself again, and told the patient that the medication is complete and I will be stopping it and going back to his primary medication. All I need to do is clamp here and using this roller clamp, adjust the primary set back to the drip rate that is ordered. I will again assess my patient's IV site, making sure there's no signs of phlebitis or infiltration. Ask him how he's feeling, if he's having any side effects. And I will wash my hands and document that it is completed. And also put this back up. and save that for the next time we have to give this medication.